We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The third station, Jesus at Sanhedrin. From the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. The chief priest and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. Finally, two came forward who stated, This man said, I can destroy the temple of God and within three days rebuild it. The high priest rose and addressed him. Have you no answer? What are these men testifying against you? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I order you to tell us under oath before the living God whether you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus said to him in reply, You have said so, but I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He has blasphemed. What far further need have we of witnesses? You have now heard the blasphemy. What is your opinion? They said in reply, He deserves to die. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. After his arrest, Jesus was brought on the next day before the Council of Elders, or the Sanhedrin. The members of this Jewish council interrogated Jesus, saying, If you are the Christ, if you are the Messiah, tell us. My dear friends, we are not far from being like the members of the Sanhedrin. There are times in our lives, especially when problems come, that we doubt and question God's power. And we find ourselves saying, if you are truly the Messiah, the Christ, why do you let this happen to us? This pandemic has affected the world like nobody could ever imagine. Many people have already died. Economies have collapsed like never seen before. Millions have lost their jobs. More and more people have been experiencing extreme loneliness and depression. We know that there are those who have already abandoned their faith because they could not reconcile God's power and human suffering. If God is all good and powerful, how could He allow good and innocent people to suffer unjustly? Where is God in all this? Yes, there may be valid reasons why we doubt and why we cannot reconcile God's power and goodness and human suffering in the world. Yes, just like the members of the Sanhedrin, we also expected God to be powerful 
and in control of everything. It is very hard to understand a powerful God who suffers. It is almost unacceptable in our human comprehension to see God weak and suffering. Yet, this is exactly God's answer to our questions. Jesus suffering with us. Jesus on the cross, the answer to all our questions about suffering out of God's unfathomable goodness and love for us. Jesus, who was sinless and blameless, was condemned to die as a criminal and nailed on the cross. The cross has become the testimony that every time we suffer unjustly, God is with us in our very own suffering. Perhaps this is the reason why thousands of people flock to the Jesus Nazareno of Quiapo every year, every day, to gaze at the God made man carrying the cross and know that they are not alone in their sufferings. The cross is a promise that God is with us in our sufferings. So that every time we look at Jesus on the cross, crying to the Father, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? His cry becomes ours, and our cries become His. Then we become secure that someone is listening. Someone is accompanying us despite our lack of understanding despite our doubt. God's power is love. For when you truly love someone, you suffer with the person, even wanting to trade places. This is what John 3.16 is all about. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him will not die, but have everlasting life. God's love for us is salvific. God's love redeems. Jesus on the cross is our salvation. It may be very hard for us to fathom God's love for us, especially during times of suffering. Maybe what God asked of us is not understanding, but trust. This is also what we do when we love someone. We trust. And so, my dear friends, if you are suffering right now, look at the cross. Listen to the cry of Jesus. And let your bl cry blend with this cry. Jesus on the cross. God's answer to all our questions. Amen. God, our Father, your word, Jesus Christ, spoke peace to a sinful world and brought mankind the gift of reconciliation by the suffering and death he endured. Teach us, the people who bear his name, to follow the example he gave us. May our faith, hope, and charity turn hatred to love, conflict to peace, death to eternal life. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh 